Keith, how's it going? I thought I'd do a little vlog style intro into this week's video. I've just bought some coffee, just bought some yogurt. I'm gonna put you down there. So yeah, I got into the building now. Uh, bought some coffee, bought some yogurt. Um, gonna eat the coffee, eat the yogurt. Edit Sunday's video for you guys to enjoy. I've had a really fun challenge coming up in a minute of Sam. Oh, my breath. Had a really fun challenge coming up of Sam and Katie, the guys that do the student work here at Trinity, did a fun go find me challenge. So I hope you enjoy that in a minute um how's your week going how's things going this week having fun having lots of fun before you go back to school uh, on monday some of you some of you go back later on either way i hope you guys are doing well and i hope that you enjoy this week's video so i enjoyed the vlogging that much i thought i'd continue it um yep currently uh, editing the video um i am at the building mainly because i need the wi-fi and the wi-fi is a lot better than it is in my house because i'm gonna need to send this to someone to put it on the youtube so thank you that person but also little thing about this i oh i shouldn't have shown you the brand little thing about this i'm not going to show you the brand um it was quite tasty i'm going to tell you everything that was i'm not going to tell you everything that was in it it was just everything like look at all that stuff that's in there there was everything in that and it tasted a mixture of sweet coleslaw which I know sounds weird, but but go with me. And like overnight oats. Um, so it's good fun. Um, sorry, back to the video. Hey Trinity, welcome to this week's challenge. I'm here with Katie and Sam. Katie and Sam, tell us a little bit about who you are. And hey, what I'm Katie. You uh, I'm the student pastor at Trinity. Come on Trin students. Woo! We love to see it. Um, <laughs> I also work for a student mission movement called Fusion. I'm trying to think of a fun fact. Pressure, yeah, I'm really racking my brain. Oh, That's why I said you fun first. Fun fact, I once swam over a shark. I used this the other day in Two Truths and a Lie. That's, That's a fun fact. I like Over it. a shark. Over, over a shark, fact. actually over a shark, yeah. It's fantastic. Sam, who are you? What did you get up to? Hit me with a fun fact. I'm so intrigued by the shark fact. I want to know more. Uh, I'm Sam. I am an intern or an apprentice, I should say, at Trinity, and I help to run students with Katie. Um... A fun fact, I once uh, was skiing and was on like a chairlift and I was on it on my own and I was quite a small kid and I couldn't reach the thing and as it got higher and higher I was getting more stressed out and then I fell off the chairlift into the snow. I wasn't that high up but it was like high enough that it was quite an issue and I had to get like rescued and everything. Oh. Yeah. You severely damaged. It's never been the same since. <laughs> Wow. Well, friends, oh, thanks fact. for coming on. That's a fun fact. I like it. You know, we're, we're, be confident <laughs> with that. It's a good fact. Friends, thanks for coming on. Um, it's a great joy to have you come and do this week's challenge. We're going to do Trinity Youth, a quick Go Find Me challenge. There will be three items, and it'll be a Trinity Youth style Go Find Me challenge. Sam versus Katie, head to head. I say. Sam, you're in a flat, right? Are you in a flat or a whole house? I was going to say, I'm in a one level flat. You've got like a huge flat, so advantage on advantage you. I feel really like I should get a five have, second have, like, like a, bonus. Yeah, if you want it, some extra time, like five extra seconds, then I have to go. No one's Jacob ever can be the judge. Before. Um, I did think that this Katie morning. is out in full force. I don't and I'm know upset. What to do. Are you both <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Katie, how many seconds do you want? How many extra seconds do you want? Okay, well, I'll, I'll play it by ear. See what Jacob's sending us to All find. Right, so the first thing I want, friends, um, I want three blades of grass. Oh, yeah, I need three more time. Go! No. Look at the keys! See, this is where Trinity Youth, the power of editing, uh, gets involved, because in a minute, they're going to be straight back, as of now. Oh, wow, well, you're back! I need three. I specifically need three, Katie. Wait, wait. Okay, fine. <sighs> That's a whole wad. One, two. They're pretty long grass. It's just things of grass, actually. The grass needs to be cut. My <laughs> desk is <laughs> 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 <He> slipped. <sighs> oh. Welcome, Katie. Is... I didn't even need bonus points. Oh, Sam, I, I don't even know if you have get... a garden. I don't. I, we, there's no grass around here, so I just got little, like, clovers that were growing on a, a wall outside. So I wouldn't have won anyway. I got like clovers. Who doesn't like clovers? Um, oh, the drink. next thing, friends, is I want a glass of water full to the brim, the fullest that you can get it without spilling any. Again, power of editing. Boom. Katie be like she's in a one floor flat. I'm so next to the bathroom. Oh, oh, it's bathroom water. Ooh. 
Don't drink that. I mean, it's not toilet water, it's from, yeah. a, from, a, from a tap. Okay, oh, and the challenge now, balance it on your head whilst holding it and spin around four times. Are you joking? An extra bonus point. Are you actually joking? Uh, yes, I am. No, I'm fully you telling the truth. Oh. Go ahead, spin. Jacob, are you going to do Zoom after this? I know, it's fine. Oh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm drenched. Wait, you can't even see my head. Hang on. How many times? Four? Four. <laughs> oh, this is water in the floors. They needed a clean anyway. <laughs> One. I've lost count. I think I've done Two. fine. Three. Sam, I oh. think has got it. Sam's got oh, it. Oh, does Sam beat me? So that is 2-2. Two, two. The scores oh. are level because that was a bonus point. Oh, yeah. Two, two. Okay. Wait, He's hang on. I'm not, wait, how are we even? Game. Pardon? We're going to do three. I feel like I won on the water. I'm, I'm soaking. Yeah, but you won in the water, making it 2 0. Sam just oh, won. Oh, two points, points for spinning. Okay, fair, fair. Oh, we're back level. We're level, Sam. It's all to play for. Worth okay. it to get drenched. Juice. This is how we're going to do the next one. I want you to get five piece, pieces of clothing and dress yourself. I want if it's an extra layer, if whatever it is, five pieces of clothing and put it on your being. One. Oh, what are you counting as clothing? One. It could be a hat, it could be gloves, it could be a scarf, anything. Two. <laughs> is that a dressing gown? Two. It's Sam, is that one. your dressing gown? Right. What? One. One. Wow, that's a big scarf. I'm stuck. Two. Sam is Sam is ploughing through now. Four. It's neck and neck. Four, Katie's on four. Click Katie McLean, that's not on properly. I need some sleeves. What? One sleeve. Really... Sam's bringing out the fourth item. Four. Sam, I need Nine. one more item from you, and Katie, one more item from you. It's neck and neck, Trinity Youth. The gloves ah. count. Gloves count, Sam. No. It's only one. He needs a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, friends, we have ourselves wow. a winner. Little drum roll, air drums. <laughs> Sam Watkins Smith is our winner this week. Yeah. I really committed. You were both, friends. you both, your wholeheartedness in this was wonderful. Wow. But who's the sweatiest? Sam, you look really well, I'm so, I feel like an escort. I'm like on that ski lift again. I mean, this is how I looked when I fell off it, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for doing this week's challenge. It is great to have you on. We would love to have you on again um, in the near future. Well, thanks for having uh, us, Jacob. It's been a joy. To be here. Uh, stay tuned for a talk from, oh, talk from me. <laughs> You're truly over to me. <laughs> hey guys, some people say that you can't get too much of a good thing, or some people say that you can get too much of a good thing. So that's why I'm going to continue to vlog for this bit. Uh, I'll show you a little bit about the setup this week. Uh, this is the setup. You're going to be balanced on a plant pot just there. That's where you're going to be balanced on. You've seen where you're going to be balanced on. Let's get stuck in. <laughs> So, we're going to start with life. Life poses a ridiculous amount of questions. Will Nottingham Forest ever get promoted? Are eyebrows classed as facial hair? What came first? The orange, the colour, or the fruit? Do stairs go up or down? If a tree falls over and no one's there to hear it, did it actually make a sound? And also, what is the meaning of life? What is the purpose to my life? Why is it that I'm actually here? What am I here for? What am I here to do? You guys might be trying to figure that out at the minute as you choose some of you choose your, your GCSEs. Like, what do I want to do for my GCSEs? Do I want to study this? Do I want to study that? And there's so much pressure on you guys at the minute to almost make a decision that will affect what you think is going to affect the rest of your life. And you're posed with these questions. What on earth is my life all about? What is my purpose on this planet? 
You know, if I choose product design, does that mean I'm going to be a product designer? If I choose music, does that mean I'm going to be the next Ed Sheeran? If I, if I choose art, am I going to be the next Banksy? And you're forced at the minute to think about these things. I can imagine, from what I remember, there is so much pressure to have everything figured out right now. And the bottom line is, you don't actually know. And that's why it's important to ask these questions. I'm not talking about the question of is an eyebrow facial hair or not, but I'm talking about what's the meaning of life and why am I actually here? Jesus says this absolutely fascinating thing. He says in John 10.10, 10, in fact, some of us might remember um, a little while ago when Jane came to speak to us, she, she just repeated John 10.10, 10, John 10.10, 10, John 10.10 10, that says this. The thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. I, this is Jesus talking, I have come that you might have life and life in all its fullness. You see, I don't know if you've heard this phrase, life is a journey. Um, and over the last few weeks, we've been trying to like, tell you guys that Jesus is inviting you to come on this journey with him. I was chatting to some people the other day and we were talking about this quote from a guy named John Wimber who had a huge impact across like the church in the UK, across the church, across the whole world. And he said this phrase that everybody gets to play, everyone's invited to play in this game that Jesus invites you to invite you in. And it's more than a game really, it's this thing called life. Everyone's invited to be with Jesus, everyone's invited to sit at the table with Jesus and everyone's invited to come on this adventure with Jesus, to, to go on this adventure called life where Jesus offers a life and life in its fullness and that offer is available to me and to you for us to go in and explore, to explore meaning, to explore purpose but also to explore the one who gives us meaning, to explore the one who gives us purpose and to explore the one who gives us life and life in its fullness. Jesus came to give us life and life in all its fullness. The fullness of life has been given to us and it's for us to step into that, to explore that, to explore what that looks like. And hopefully over the next few weeks as we discover what life is all about and why we're here and what we're here for, we discover the one that gives us life, the one that gives us meaning, the one that gives us purpose, the one that gives us identity and we're called in our life to step into that and to explore that when i was 14 i gave my life to jesus and i said jesus i want that life i want that life in all its fullness and i want to step into that and as i've gone about that i found more life i found more satisfaction in jesus i found my identity in jesus and i found my purpose in Jesus, that the identity of my life, the purpose of my life, God's will for my life, as I step into that, I just feel more alive. I feel more human. I feel what I'm feel I feel exactly that I'm stepping into what I'm here for as I discover more of Jesus. Because one of the reasons we're alive, one of the purposes we're alive, in fact, one of the main reasons why we're here is to be in relationship with God. The Bible says throughout the whole of the Bible, from beginning through to the end, that was a weird thing that I did. From beginning through the end, there's this repeated verse that I will be their God and they will be my people, saying that I will be God to them and they will be my people and we will be his people and he will be our God. It's all about relationship with God, walking with Jesus, getting to know Jesus and getting to know the things that he's getting up to. And there's an invitation like we've looked at over the last few weeks to come and follow me, come and figure out what life's all about, come and figure out what life's all about in its beauty, but come and figure what life's all about in its brokenness. You see, life isn't exactly easy and the adventure that Jesus calls us on, as Johnny looked at, on Sunday morning, it's an adventure to, 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 of sacrifice, to come and die, come and take up your cross and follow Jesus, which isn't always easy, but as Jen said, it is always worth it. So I want to invite you guys on this journey with us over the next few weeks as we look at the basics, as we go back to basics. What is life? What is my purpose? My purpose is to know Jesus. God's plan for my life, the primary plan, the primary reason that we're here is to get to know Jesus. And, and, and that's it. It's not that we would know him and, and know everything about him instantly. It's the fact that we go on this journey of getting to know him more and more and more every single day. And that's the journey he invites the disciples on that we've looked at for the last few weeks. 
And that's the journey he's inviting us on now. So let me pray as we go into this journey of the next few weeks. Father, I pray for us as a youth group that we would know what it is to receive that life and life in all of its fullness. That we would get to know you and you in your fullness. In Jesus' name, amen.